I'm very pleased to introduce to you Dr. Hamid Baheshti, the founder of the Off-Grid Water Alliance. Welcome. Thank you. Pleasure. Pleasure being with you. It is such a pleasure to have you today with us. Thanks. Um, I know that we are going to get ready for a lot more coming for you, um, our digital audience and our live audience, so I want to get right into some questions for you. Yeah. Now, you've spent the last 20 years of, career, of your career working on solar and water projects across the globe. You've now founded the Off-Grid Water Alliance, which is a new initiative meant to bring a voice to the sector at the global stage. There are already several water and energy alliances and councils around the world. Why do we need a new one? The reason to have a new one is there are other alliances. There are other organizations all over the world. There are water organizations, and then from the water organization, you have energy organizations, energy events, conferences. Not all of them are focusing on the issue of the combination of water and energy at the same time, and focusing on remote parts of the planet, on off-grid communities. We wanted to have an alliance focusing on these two together, where SDG 6 and SDG 7 meet. So where water meets electricity, water means renewables in the remotest part of the planet from one side and in off-grid community in general from the other side. Thank you so much. Now, I wanted to ask you, what does off-grid mean in practice? Are we just talking about rural villages? Not necessary, not at all. Uh, off-grid means a place where electricity lines are there, but there is no electricity in it. You can't imagine. There are plenty of uh, different parts of the world that electricity lines are there, not necessary electricity in. Or there is no electricity line, there is no grid. Again, that place is off-grid. Or there is the electricity grid. People would not afford paying for electricity. Again, that means off-grid. When you do not have access to that electricity, you cannot have the access to it. Again, you are off-grid. The last but the most, let's say, famous form of off-grid is absolute remote part of the planet where there is no grid, when, where people do not afford even having a diesel engine or whatever for their electricity supply. This is the definition. In this definition, many of the poor urban communities, many of the satellite cities around capitals in developing countries, they are all called off-grid communities, not necessary villages. That's an important point to make. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's a big misunderstanding. When we talk about off-grid, people think, okay, you are in rural, you are in villages, we are in urban. That's not true. It's, as we heard in that last panel, it is going to take all of us. Sure. So, I got another question for you. Where's the alliance going to be heading amid the global security challenges that we're facing right now? We have to take, of course, Ukraine as an example. Sure. Where can we put water into the energy transition dialogue? And I'll ask you to keep your mic a little bit closer. Sure. Uh, with all these challenges, the gr unfortunate growing uh, challenges of security around the world, we see wherever the security is challenged, the issue of electricity, the issue of water is also growing. This is what we see in the role of the Off-Grid Water Alliance to bring itself services to the places, to the war zones, or to the places, whatever challenges that is growing there. Either it's a security issue like a war now in Ukraine or any other uh, drought cases that now we have in East Africa. In the energy transition dialogue, what the alliance tries to highlight and bring a voice to the entire sector, for the entire sector to the world is, let, look, Energy transition is not just an urban entity, is not just an urban notion. Energy transition should cover the entire world. We are talking about the entire planet, so we should not just talk about the urban communities where we let the developing countries, we let the off-grid communities do not pave the same exact path that we have paved in the past decades or centuries. We can bring other opportunities to them, developing themselves in a more sustainable way. So, Off-Grid Water Alliance can play an, a strategic role in terms of, term of energy transition to help off-grid communities develop more sustainably and develop the way that, again, they have their own voice, they have their own school, they have their own title in a development, and they would not be ignored. In many of our energy transition dialogues, we see that less of access, less of a stage we are bringing to those that are traditionally voiceless. That's true, and I'm happy that you bring up the idea of access. We're going to be looking and come some of our panels later today and tomorrow at access. We're also going to be looking at the role that water is going to play for us. Um, we still have about another 30 seconds. I'd like to ask you for a final comment, Dr. Hamid Beheshti. 
Pleasure. The final comment I can bring to the entire stage here in energy transition is again the same issue, that be careful, energy transition should not just be for urban communities. Uh, off-grid communities, rural communities, poor urban communities, they should be all part of this game. And we hope Off-Grid Water Alliance, where SDG 6 and SDG 7 is meeting, brings the voice of the sector of those with solution for those communities. Thank you so much.